You know, using a hemocytometer is one of those things that's hard to explain in words. It's much easier if you see it. When working with a sample, you want to make sure that it's well homogenized. And when you pull it, pull it as accurately as you can. Oh. You'll want to use a 1 to 1 of 0.03% methylene blue to your sample. When you drop the sample onto your hemocytometer slide, you really need very little. It's less than a drip. It's really all you need. That's it. If you don't have dye, you might not even see it go on the slide. You're going to want to start with your diaphragm all the way closed and a times four objective. You'll want to focus with the coarse focus until you get your hemocytometer lines. You'll want to center box one. And also with that diaphragm all the way closed, you'll want to adjust your light source. Make sure it's straight up and down and also adjust the focus of your light source. You'll see a, a fine grain in the middle of the field when it's focused. Next you're going to flip up to the uh, times 10 ocular and then you're also still going to use the coarse focus then move up to your 40 times and now we're using the fine focus. That's it. And you're probably going to need to open up the diaphragm just a little bit and adjust your focus so that the blue dead cells are very clearly blue but they aren't blurry. There we go. Um, it really doesn't matter how you count them as long as you're consistent. Um, I think I just got 21 in live cells in that box and five dead cells. That's it. That's how to use a hemocytometer.